train lifting plant introduction before creating lifting plant we need to know about the crane normally using mobile crane this is the mobile crane these all the parts need to know what is a carrier and operator cabin what is the boom what is the telescoping section and what is the counterweight what is the out trigger and hydraulic system and what is the main load line and what is the load block like that few things you need to know so in this picture all the parts are very clear so this is need to know before creating lifting plan crane lifting plan this is mobile crane and the, this is the thing is crawler crane okay crawler type of crane so this type of crane also using for lifting in that also all the parts are very clearly mentioned here need to know this one also for lifting then this is tower type of crane this kind of crane no need to make any lifting plan but some cases some difficult cases we need to make lifting plan also using this tower type of crane and here it is normally all the workshop using this type of crane this is overhead crane these cranes also no need to prepare any drawing for lifting but in this case also if you make any difficult rigging one lifting one that also you can make drawing and you can make lifting plan and this is rigging tools lots of tools used to make crane lifting but normally commonly using tools only i given here i i hook soil hook and clean hook and d shackle normally using bow shackle always using and like that few rigging tools i given and wire rope sling always using that one and beam clamp you are lifting beam or plate and you can use this type of clamps and lifting beam and spreader beam when you lift any plates or any other things okay you need to make intermediately a uh, lifting beam or spreader beam is required so this is the thing in lifting beam and spreader beam in this corner now next slide when you lift any load you need to place your lifting point in exactly the cg point that is very important if you didn't made the line in exactly in cg point definitely your object will cannot lift properly see here in this slide you can see a mark that is cg but your lifting point and cg the both are not in line so it is if you, if you lift this one you will get it unstable unstable means what will happen it will tilt like this automatically it will tilt like this now you can see the lifting point and cg point it is coming in line so now you can see when i lift i change the lifting point to the cg now you can lift properly so when you lift your cg point is must so when you before lifting you need to when you make load block that time you need to specify the cg point that is very important next the sling if you need to make a sling selection you can use this calculation and you can find out what is the sling force if you know the sling force you can choose which size sling you can use and which format you can make definitely your rigging supervisor or rigging engineer or rigging manager they are having the data which type of sling is suitable for which type of rigging process so you can use that one this is the 
normally using default using you can use this also depends on the force you can use the slim otherwise you just make it slim and the side people will decide locally lifting plan before when you make the lifting plan you need this all the data crane capacity what is the crane capacity load size and weight what you are going to lift the load length weight and height you require and what is the weight that is very important then hook block weight okay depends on your load you need to change your load block which load block is suitable for your load size that you need to decide then load chart and next one is boom length and crane radius these all the things very important next load size and weight load size this is you need to prepare load specification sheet in that what is the load need what is the cargo need if you are going to lift tube bundle you need to make that is tube bundle and or if you are lifting vessel or any other cargo what is the name of that one and what is the dimension length width height and weight these things before making lifting plan you need to get it from concern department or other companies which who making the who made that load okay who arranged that load so that load details you need to get it from concern department or other companies also you need to get it the drawing also so you can prepare that load block very easily hook block weight hook block weight lots of companies using various hook blocks you can get it from hook block manufacturer data so what is the exact hook block and what is the capacity and what is the weight of that hook block and what is the material and the drawing everything you want you can get it from hook block manufacturer but this or you can search in google also you will get it some blocks that blocks also you can use it locally or if you need exactly if you need you can contact the hook block manufacturer data you will get it the all the information load chart what uh, what we need to do is in load chart load chart from load chart we need to get it the boom length and safe working load crane radius we need to decide depends upon our site location once you decide the crane radius so using this crane radius we can take boom length and safe working load in load chart now you can see here main boom length this is the main boom length and the radius a lifting height and out trigger base everything you can see here and this is load chart example load chart in this load chart you can see a uh, left side 16 meter you can see 16 meter that is radius crane radius and if you go to the top that is boom length okay so exactly you take 16 meter and if you go to the uh, 44 meter boom length you will get it 16.6 that is a safe working load inside that value or safe working load now i just go to the next slide and uh, this is also load chart in that also you will get it the boom length and the radius and the uh, boom height everything you can get it in this load chart also clearly i mentioned here, uh, i show here you can see if you go to the boom length 44 and if you go down and come down and 16 you can see uh, go up uh, you can see the safe working load inside the arrows and all the points are showing that is safe working load now crane capacity percentage of capacity or crane capacity usage so this is the formula what is the hook block and material weight you can use sling and all the weight also you can use or you can consider hook block weight all the together we can consider hook block weight it is a maximum so then divide by safe working load safe working load we need to get it from the load chart 
pre frame data load chart okay then uh, here you can see i made a um, data crane capacity uh, when i need to calculate i just made boom length 44.5 if you go here uh, the boom length is coming top that is 44.5 i selected it is coming top you can see and the next slide um, this is crane radius 16 if you go to this one you can see here 16 the left side it is coming 16 go near to the 16 and match with the 44.5 meter you will get it 16.66 okay so 16.66 and the weight of load is 7 ton i consider hook block weight is 2 ton so i am using here crane ltm1150 slash 1 so this is the library company and this is mobile crane okay so if i use this crane and this data safe working load is 16.6 ton from load chart so if i use that one and i need to calculate using this formula crane percentage of capacity to plus 7 divide 16.6 into 100 i will get for 54.2 percentage so crane capacity percentage of capacity should not exceed 80 percentage below 80 percentage crane capacity is safe if it is increased more than 80 percentage definitely uh, you cannot lift if you lift also you maybe you will get some difficulties when you lift it time because when you lift you will get a lot of factors atmosphere uh, temperature and air like that lot of factors will affect your crane so before below 80 percentage if you uh, keep the percentage of capacity you never get any accident so this is i get it 54.2 percentage so i am using the crane capacity only 54 percentage so i have around 45 46 percentage i have so this is the way to make before creating drawing you need to make a your proper crane lifting plan 